Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you a custom kiosk that we made for a customer. It is similar to our Razor kiosk. We made a little dolly for it out of the base, so you can easily roll it around. And I just have a band of elastic around it right now, holding it together. But uh, the customer will probably use a bungee cord to keep it keep it tight together. So I'm just going to remove this here. This top unit weighs about 35 pounds. Has a 21 inch touchscreen, all in one Windows 8 computer, a Canon DSLR model T3, and then a strobe in there and an LED light. And this is the bottom unit right here. And then, let's scoot these over. This is the base plate here. The base plate has removable wheels. So these are just quick release. Press the release pin and slide them out. And then there's also some thumb bolts on the bottom here, which you can turn and remove the support bar there. It's basically like a dolly plate. I'm going to set these uh, wheels and bolts off to the side. You take your support base, and you notice there's three holes in it. There's one in the center here, and two to the left and right. Set that on the floor. Then grab your base section here. Uh, the back of it is right here. This Velcro's off easily. And uh, let me flip this whole thing around. There's some included L ratchet brackets here. Just line up the three holes. Turn it till it's tight. These things ratchet, so you can turn them back so they're out of the way. Do that to their tight. Now we're going to move these top bolts here. And the nuts are held on with some stainless steel wire. So they won't come loose. You won't have to lose those by any chance of mistake. Okay, so we got those four bolts off. The computer section also has a room in the back that's velcroed on. And you're basically going to take this and set it on top. I'm going to turn this around again. Now there's four holes where the four hand bolts go into. So you just stick them all the way through. And then you take these brass nuts on the bottom, which again are held on captively with some stainless steel wire, so they can't get lost easily. And screw these on. Then you would take your power cord here, snake it through that hole, run another cord and run it through the back plate. And then your power strip is right here, the strobe connects right into it, um, the computer power cord, the LED light power cord, everything connects in there. And then this camera here has a tilt up and down mechanism. It's pivoted right on the lens node, right here in the center of the lens, whereas most photomuth manufacturers put it back here and that requires too big of a hole. So we got our engineers out and we moved it up front so that you can easily tilt this up and down 
Um, and then it has the top on here that's Velcroed on and off if you ever need to access things. Um, it's pretty much that. So let me go ahead and turn this around here. Uh, this still has a protective cling wrap on it. Let me just go ahead and take this off. And put these panels back on. The back top panel has some white contact paper on, and that's to basically bounce the flash forward. There's a complete unit. You can see right here, you can easily tilt this lens down or push it up or down on it like that. Thanks for watching. This is just a close up video showing you some of the details of this unit here. So, this is the tilt for the camera to go up and down. The routered edges around the monitor. Aluminum base plate painted black. The camera in the back, you can see the tilt mechanism a little bit better, like this. Goes from zero down to about 45 degrees. Your Sony computer is held together with this bolt here. There's another one over here. You have your power switch there, your LED light, your strobe going up. One core going down. And over here you have your three bolts connecting it to the bottom. And the base plate again.